Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Blog. And today we're here with episode 98 and we're going to look at a couple of toys. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to mention something that I, I haven't been able to tell you guys because some of these things I've pre-recorded or re-edited or re-shot and uh, this information got lost and I totally forgot all about it. Uh, but I did want to mention that... Uh, as always, I am very grateful and thankful that you guys helped me cross 1,000 subscribers. Uh, unfortunately, we did not get to stay monetized. I got the official email from, from YouTube at first, and they said, hey, welcome to the Opal program or whatever it is, and, uh, you know, congratulations, hitting 1,000 subscribers. That's awesome. Now, if you ever need anything, you know, you can reach out to us and we'll respond to you. You actually can talk to someone who works here at YouTube. And I was like, hey, that's great. And then, like, four days later, I got an email saying, hey, sorry, you're not actually monetized anymore. Um, I don't even know if I still get the reaching out to them benefits of a thousand subscribers. I don't even know the you know the email was not didn't specify on that, uh, but it told me I wasn't monetized anymore because we didn't have four thousand hours of the show watched in total over the past twelve months. Uh, so yeah, I figured there was other stipulations, and I, I kind of felt like that was coming. Uh, but like I said, and I promised you guys, just because we didn't keep we you know we're not monetized doesn't mean I'm going to stop. I'm going to keep making Venom Vlog episodes, and we're going to get there. We're already, just from starting the Venom Vlog in the past four months, uh, we are at 2,000 hours already just on the 98 episodes I've done of this show. And I'm sure by the time the movie comes out in October, we'll probably have another 100 episodes and probably cross another 2,000 hours. So I'm not worried. I know we'll get there eventually, but I just wanted to say thank you guys for the effort, and, and we did it. I mean, in my eyes, we did it. We crossed 1,000, and that to me was more than enough. And I just want to say I'm very, very grateful to all of you who brought me to this level. And now we're at like 1,039 subscribers, and that just means a lot to me. So again, thank you very much for keeping this show going and keeping me going. And for that, I promise you, this show is not going anywhere. And I'm going to keep dishing out episodes every week for you guys. And if I can keep them up, you know, four or five times a week, I will for sure. Uh, so for now, I want to take a look at some toys. Uh, the first toy I got, um, I actually was able to pick up at a Toys R Us, which is really rare. So, uh, and that brings me to the other toy, which I had to buy at Big Bad Toy Store online. Uh, and I, I've ordered from them a couple times before, like Transformers and stuff. Uh, they're really great. They're great for like, uh, I'm not trying to do a plug for them because I prefer to shop in local businesses. I prefer to shop, you know, like places I can go to. But for me, they're great because uh, they're a great backup. Because one thing that happens here in Southern California is that there are these guys that go around to all the Toys R Us's and Targets and Walmarts. They know right when the shipments are going to be there. They know when the toys are going to be put out and they buy them all. And guys like me who just want one to open, we don't get to get them. You know, it's, it's a bummer unless they return them. And I think that's what happened here with the first toy. So because of that, it's hard for me sometimes to support you know, Toys R Us's and Walmarts and Targets because, uh, I mean, I still go there, like Walmart and Toy Target, I'll still go there and get some groceries from time to time uh, after work. But uh, but Toys R Us, I haven't been going into many Toys R Us's lately. Uh, just the other day, I got the two big Transformer ones, uh, but that was it. That was like the most I could contribute to a Toys R Us in a while. And as someone who used to work at a Toys R Us and seeing them closing, you know, I would like to bring them more business. Of course, I don't make a ton of money, uh, but I try to, you know, sacrifice like, oh, okay, I'm not going to buy it on Amazon for like $10. I'll pay the $15 or $20 at Toys R Us knowing that that money is going to maybe help someone keep their job, even though it's just a little amount, you know, it's, it's something's better than nothing. And I try to do that the best I can. Uh, but uh, you know, I don't always get that luxury because I'll go look for toys and they don't have them because some jerk went in and bought all six of them. And now he's going to go make, you know, quadruple the price by selling all of them. And he's going to make more money than the people who bust their butt at Toys R Us. Uh, so, you know, it, it, it's hard. So because of that, I'll go online sometimes and order a toy from a business like Big Bad Toys who are also, you know, people working hard trying to make money. And so I don't feel bad, you know, obviously about supporting them either. So I try to distribute the best I can and do the best I can with what little money I have. So today I was happy that this video is going to be about one toy I found on Toys R Us and one that I got online supporting both sides of the business. Uh, the first one, I think this was a return because there was three of them there. And sometimes people do that. They buy them, they do their toy review, and they seal them back up as perfect as can be, and they return them to Toys R Us. And I don't really care because I just want the toy. And this one was a neat one because I'm not a huge Deadpool fan, but this is Deadpool back in black, and it's him with an alien symbiote on him. And you can see he has an alternate Venom head there. And we're going to take this out of the box. I built like a new toy review studio, and I'm not going to do a ton of toy reviews uh, on this channel, but I figured with some of the Transformer stuff I have and the upcoming Venom toys, I should have like a little studio to do reviews on. So I decided uh, to design one and build one. So I had that. We're going to cut to that in a minute, but I wanted to show this off and tell you guys that I actually don't know 
what this is. I've never read a comic book. Uh, I'm not a big Deadpool guy. I haven't read a ton of his comic books. So I thought this would be a great opportunity for some of you out there to let me know down in the comments what the storyline of this is. What is Back in Black? Where can I get a copy of it? What volume of Deadpool is it in? Should I read it? Is it funny? Is it good? Um, is it the same symbiote from the Venom symbiote? Is it Eddie Brock symbiote? Is it a different one? Uh, let me know down in the comments. He, he's got some interesting pieces, so we're definitely going to pop them open, check them out here in a second. Uh, and on the back it says, increased aggression, boosted strength. Nah, he's just in it for the slimming black suit, which I think is a great uh, Deadpool comment in line. Uh, so yeah, let me know about this. What What is back in black? I'm, I'm curious. I, this is a, a blind spot in my Venom and... Uh, you know, Clintar and Symbiote, uh, you know, knowledge base. So I don't know what this is. I thought this would be a good opportunity for you guys to educate me on something. So let me know down in the comments. We'll check him out in a second. And the other one, I bought this online because I'm pretty sure this is going to be the toy in this series that sells out everywhere. I'm not going to be able to find him most likely ever on a shelf anywhere here in California. Uh, so, uh, I picked up Lasher from Big Bad Toy Store. And Lasher is one of the five symbiotes from Lethal Protector and the Separation Anxiety storyline. And we're going to talk about Separation Anxiety in a couple episodes from now. But first, we got to do the Exile Returns. And then we got to do our 100th episode where we're going to review the Spider Man 3 movie. Uh, but we're going to take a look at this toy here. He comes with a build a figure head of Lizard. If you buy the other figures in the set, you can build an entire like 8 inch Lizard or something. Uh, the other figures are Gwenpool, Prowler, who is, I definitely want to get. But I feel like I might get lucky and find him at like a Target or something when I go in there for groceries or Walmart. Because not a lot of people are big fans of that character, but I am. I love Hobie Brown. So uh, I'll pick up, I'll look, keep an eye out for Prowler. Uh, there's Spider-Punk, uh, Spider-Man Noir, Spider-Woman, and Mysterio are the other six figures in the set. I'm most likely not going to buy them all. I'll probably just get Prowler. That's the only other one I want. Uh, but Lasher, I thought this was cool that they're making this one of the five symbiotes. And, I, and now that we have Scream coming out, hope, hopefully we'll get you know Phage and Riot and the other symbiotes symbiotes as well uh, re-released at some point. So yeah, without further ado, uh, let's take a look. Let's he head over to my new studio. Uh, what has a, It has a Transformer background, but it has like Marvel and Venom stuff all on the sides and on the bottom. Uh, we'll cut over to that and we'll take a look at these toys. So here we are with Deadpool back in black. Uh, I pretty much put the Venom hands on him, like the symbiote hands you can see here. Uh, they're like claw hands, but he does come with other hands. The reason I did those is just because I want it to look more Venom-ish when I put it on the shelf. But he does come with like regular hands that hold his swords, you know, like these little grips here. And they can hold his swords if you want to take the, the back piece off. The back piece is based off, or it's actually the same piece that comes with the Agent Venom toy that came out a while ago. And these hands are actually Carnage's hands painted black, or at least it looks like they are from the Carnage figure that I already have. Um, and then we have uh, these, like this Spider-Man kind of hand that he has on here that goes on his left hand. So he's got a couple different options as far as accessories go and hands go. Um, he's got the two swords back here with the, the purple and pinkish blades, which look really, really cool. Actually, I like the color. They, they look neat. I don't know, are they energy swords in the comics? You guys will have to let me know down below. Uh, and then he also comes with this alternate head, which is like more of a, like a, you know, venom head. So let's pop that on him real quick and then we'll show off all the, uh, you know, other features of him. Okay, and there we go. We have him in his Venom head form, and now his Deadpool head we'll put down here off to the side. So yeah, he looks really good, actually. This figure looks great. Uh, I I like the Venom head on him act, uh, better. Uh, you know, the Deadpool one is cool. If you take out the symbiote stuff and he's just like in a black and white costume, that looks cool too. But with all the Venom features and the hands and stuff and the symbiote like going crazy on his back with the swords, I think it looks really, really cool. And like I said, I don't know what kind of swords these are, if they're energy swords, so let me know you know, in the comments down below what that's from. Uh, tell me a little bit about the comic, the story, and where I can, uh, you know, what issues I need to look out for because uh, I think I'm going to pick this up and read about it because uh, I'm interested. They did a What If comic that I read a while back called What If Venom Took Over Deadpool. Uh, so, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested. And, yeah, I'm not really much of a toy reviewer anymore, but we'll just do the basics. Let's take the swords off because they're going to fall off anyway. Uh, but we have, like, knee bends, two, two points in the knee here. Uh, so you could get good articulation there. His calf here does spin and rotate. His ankle is uh, has a slight ball joint on it, but it also goes up and down, back and forth, so he can uh, dance, you know, because he's got to dance. Um, his hands do swivel at the wrists, and same with these. Like, if you put any of the hands on, they all swivel at the wrist. That's pretty much all the movement you're going to get out of them, though. Um, I think they're supposed to go back and forth. Yeah, they go back and forth, so you could do that kind of maneuver. You can make the spidey hand, you know, do that or whatever. On the spidey hand, it would be like, 
uh, so you can bend the wrist. Uh, then yeah, you have uh, the thigh swivel there, and then up in the groin area, the upper thigh, that goes around in a ball joint. Uh, the waist turns, and he also can do stomach crunches to keep those abs uh, on him at all times. Uh, he's got a ball joint in the shoulder, but it also comes out too. So, uh, and you can hear some clicks in there to keep it staying. So the locking mechanisms are really good. Uh, then you have here on the elbow, you got two points there on the elbow as well. And then last but not least, you got the head with a ball joint. And I'm going to try to be a little careful with the head because it did, um, it did pop off pretty easily earlier when I switched heads, but now it looks like it's pretty sturdy. So yeah, uh, that is uh, the Deadpool back in black figure. Like I said, I'm not much of a detailed toy reviewer anymore. I know there's a lot of people out there that just do things way better than me. I just want to take a look at these and I wanted to get back into the swing of things because if the Venom, when the Venom movie toys come out, I do want to make these kind of videos again for you guys so you guys can see exactly what the toys can do. So let me know down in the comments what you think of this and let's switch over to Lasher and check him out. And lastly here we have Lasher. Uh, he looks really awesome. I'm actually really digging the paint job. It's kind of got this, this military green, like dark green here, and then these great you know, really bright splashes all across his chest and the top of his head. And of course, he's got like the Spider-Man type eyes, which uh, looks really cool on him. He is a symbiote that was created from Venom. Uh, so he does have more Spider-Man like features like some of the other ones do. They all kind of have Spider-Man like uh, look to them. Uh, and then also on the back here, you have his joints, which come off one by one. You can actually take these off uh, one at a time. And there's these holes in his back that you can plug them into. And I think you can plug them into a couple different, you have a few different options when it comes to where you want to put them. Uh, Cause I've seen some other, you know, other pictures of them online where like this leg sticking out more and this one's like hooked up under him like that. And you know, these two are kind of pinching in that way. So it looks like you can, you know, maneuver him and, and position him a couple different ways. And just like the other one, he doesn't come with uh, alternate hands though, but he has the same articulation in the wrist uh, in the elbows. Uh, there, there's a little bit more of a click in his, so his are, his are pretty sturdy articulations. Uh, the ball joint is there, and it's a little bit different. There's a kind of a full socket that you'll notice uh, right there, uh, that it, you know that's part of his chest a little bit too. So yeah, it gives a little bit more arm movement, makes him look a little more alien when he moves his hands around and stuff. Uh, then he's got like the same ball joint in his upper thigh. He's got the swivel in his uh, upper thigh too, right here. So groin, thigh, knee, two knee bends there again, ankle as well. And the foot has a ball joint in it. So you can kind of curve the foot if you need to. Um, so yeah, and then same on the other side, waist swivels and then stomach crunching so he can keep those abs that he has. And then of course the ball joint in the head. So yeah, he's great. I think he looks awesome. He's a definitely one of those figures that you can pose a few different ways to get different looks on him. So he's not a, like some figures just sit on your shelf and you can pretty much do one or two poses with and you kind of get bored with them after a while. This guy, I feel like there's a lot more to him because you can rearrange the arms on the back of him coming out. You can put him in different positions. You can have him crouching. You can have him like, you know, battle ready. Uh, you can have him like I have him where his arms spread out. Like, come on, bring it on, dude. Um, but yeah, there's def definitely a couple different ways you can pose him and look at him and yeah he just he's a great looking figure he pretty much has a spider-man mold body i think for the most part uh but then just like added elements like like the feet here are definitely not spider-man feet you got the toes sticking out and veins going down into the the toes which looks really really awesome i don't know if i can capture that on uh, on this camera but yeah it does look really cool you could probably see it there now with the light um but yeah let me know what you think of this we will get more into who lasher is we got uh, the separation anxiety trade paperback storyline we're going to talk about coming up and last Asher and the other four uh, symbiotes return from Lethal Protector to interact with Eddie Brock in that storyline. So we'll dive more into uh, his origin, his backstory in that. And then we'll talk about his future after he becomes part of the, the, the symbiote known as Hybrid. And then he you know, breaks up again into a, a special forces team called, uh, you know, that were in the family feud storyline of Carnage. Uh, but we'll get into all that later on. Uh, but he is a very uh, cool, interesting character, I think, uh, just look-wise. Don't know too, too much about him in the comics. And uh, there's still hope that maybe one of these guys, other than Scream, will show up in the movie. And we still don't even know 100% if Scream or Donna Diego is in the movie. It's just what IMDb said. And like I said, that can be edited. So we don't even know. Or if they're even going to use the characters in the comics if they're just going to make up their own characters uh, for the movie, we don't know either. But it would be nice to see if they do the five symbiotes, if we get to see like something bright green like this. I think that'll just look really good on camera. But you guys let me know what you think down below. And in the next episode, we're going to talk about The Exile Returns, uh, which is the next Spider-Man or the next Venom story, I guess, in the Separation Anxiety
Eddie trade paperback that we have to discuss. And it'll be the first time. It's basically Venom getting humbled big time because he hates Spider-Man and he thinks he can destroy all Spider-Man. And then when he comes across uh, someone he claims is a fake Spider-Man, he's uh, it's it's not as easy as he thinks. So yeah, well, let me know again what you guys think down below for these toys, and let me know a little bit of the backstory of Deadpool back in black here, so that way I can educate myself on them. Thanks so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.